came here, I was actually um, staying at a hotel. I was paying for it, my mom was there, and um, you know, I became homeless after she left, abandoned me. I was out in, at the park and it was just pouring raining on me. And I was like, you know, like I had nowhere to go. It was thunderstorm and I was just getting soaked and I was like, I can't deal with this no more. Me and my mom were like really bad. Like we used to go at it and uh, she was very abusive, but nobody knew. We were living in this house. Our landlord would not fix nothing. He came once a month to collect his little money and that was it. He came to the door April 8th and told us we had to get out and that was it. I had a pretty good family. They were extremely successful. I had to work for my money down there still, but after I completely moved out, it was a completely different story. I started getting into um, a few drugs. I would start spending all my money on that and then at one point I couldn't pay for rent and then I had to leave and now I'm here. We called Kevin the house like, yo, we need help ASAP. And I was kind of scared. My guard was up. And then I thought of Kevin the house like being some kind of shelter where people are sleeping on floors all next to each other and gross and disgusting and it wasn't like that. I loved it instantly. Like I came in and I felt like comfortable. And you know, this is when Miss Corey, Miss Kyra, you know, Miss uh, Jen, all of them, Miss Roz, they all were there and it, it felt really good because they don't treat you like you're different. And when you come in the door, it's, are you hungry? You know, what do you need? What do you need from us? They got me some clothes. They got me some like essential items and everything that I need. They made me feel comfortable. They gave me a bed and everything. Everybody was so nice. They um, helped me obtain my documents. So like birth certificate, social security, um, you can get your ID. Uh, they can help you with your license, then they help you with job searching. It's very goal-oriented. It is a lot of structure, which is really good for a lot of us because we don't have structure, so it's coming from no structure to getting to gaining structure, really. Um, everyone has a chore. Um, everyone actually has to do a job search if they're not doing anything else, which is going on the computers in a DLC lab. And um, everyone has to attend some sort of um, group or class to complete mental health or general education. Currently, I'm getting a business certification. I'm going back to school. I just needed it into college, so I'm like really happy about that. Um, my mental health is kind of getting better too. I'm an actor and I'm a server at the Sportsbook of Valleys. I go to hospitality classes during the day. I definitely want to do something with social work um, to kind of give back a little bit because I've been to so many different programs and stuff. It only feels right that I do something like that. I work at Valleys. Uh, the casino. Uh, I stay at ROP. It's a, a program that's an upgrade from the Covenant House. Like once you start saving up a lot of money, you get to go there. You got your own room. You got your own apartment. Basically, you just share with a roommate. I feel good because I'm saving up a lot of money. I'm doing way better. I'm back up on my feet, and now I'm about to go to college and everything. I'm actually very happy of where I'm at right now. I'm a home health aide. I'm loving it. I live at the Rites of Passage program. I'm cooking my own food. I wake up when I want to wake up. And life is great. 